Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we are in springtime and we have weeds two meters tall. So it is uh, quite overwhelming and uh, it creates a whole new view on the farm. I have to cut walkways to get somewhere and I'm not used to that. Absolutely amazing experience. I am 192 and this is higher than me. And we have 30 degrees Celsius for the next few days and then it will drop to 20 again which actually encourage these plants to grow even taller produce more seeds I'm looking into a roller to put behind a small handheld tractor and just roll all of this flat I will see. We also have a lot of saplings in this greenhouse and uh, to transplant them now is a bad idea because of the heat. We'll wait another five days when it's cooler again and then they get can get transplanted. This is a 50% sand and then uh, also 50% clayish soil with decomposed compost mixture. Still we have to spray it twice a day to uh, make sure it stays moist there's a lot of basil tomatoes melons we've already transplanted quite a few but we will hold a little bit then there are a lot of others this is the ladyfinger from India, okra, doing very well. We'll have to be patient for all the other seeds, mostly indigenous trees. Let's see. Our cuttings sandboxes. It's a full-time job. We have to check it twice a day. The moisture content we measure it and uh, looking good and then uh, when there's some wind at night and it's warm then we cover it with this plastic we have to remove it in the daytime because it gets much too hot I really look forward to Getting a lot of plants from here. Oh boy, how is the foot? How is the foot? Eh? There's always one limping for some or other reason. His right front paw, the cushion has a cut. So, uh, I have tried many things. I now have it in a salt bath three times a day plus some uh, stuff to disinfect it. Let's hope sky will get better. He's now separated from the rest. I don't want him to get too excited. It's amazing when they are in a pack instinct takes over 
he just uses the foot and uh, pretend nothing has happened. I'm sure as a wolf in the wild that is how you survive, you just carry on. We have collected lots of firewood from the fallen trees. But it can now dry out for the next winter. Absolutely amazing growth and it grows by the day in this warm weather. Stunning. I'm happy. I have used a brush cutter to open up a pathway here up to the water tank because I walk there regularly to check the water supply and uh, marks when I found this Khara Cystus five petals crinkled paper texture and uh, it's impossible for me to identify these things um, looks like the same species can have different color colors of uh, flowers which doesn't help me much and I'm not in the mood for counting the stamen and the uh, different parts of the flower to know exactly which species it is. I've asked many people, the locals, and I have asked five and I got five different answers. So I'm not that much the wiser from that area. This is the cystus, the white one. It grows up to two meters, meter wide. And the other one about 50 centimeters. So, uh, still fi five petals. Still this crinkle paper look. One day I'll find out. The creek river bed is still moist and just on the other side is the Kanat, the Moorish infiltration system and I think that leaks into this area. Here it's the first water appearing. There's no water on the other side, so it's interesting how it gets here. Maybe just flows on bedrock. And then it carries on. This is the daily report spot. So we have flies and dogs mosquitoes and frogs drinking here. What a wonderful sight when this is only the second, sorry, the third spring we are here. The first spring we just moved in and everything was new. Second spring we had a drought, there was no water. And now this year we have this water. We are absolutely delighted. The blackberry flowers. Some more blackberries. Yes, why are you not sitting here in a row? 
our second rose bed not a rose but it's beautiful deep red, it's almost black we dragged a lot of branches onto the berms for the dogs also for the wind for the heat sun our slips off sweet potatoes and then a lot of small growth I sowed a lot of things here and uh, it's still nicely moist here I'm delighted the earthworks will have to wait a bit a frame must just be patient because uh, the next big project is to install the irrigation system get that going the person who designed it and from whom I ordered the parts told me in a week uh, delivery will take place and then a week later I will be up and running so I said yes a month later I will still be tweaking things it's either me and my tweaking nature or it is just how it is but I look forward to that a lot of seeds germinating on the berm I have no idea what it is, I just placed everything I could find into the soil and then it must grow. Beautiful to see the fruit trees with all their leaves and starting to produce fruit. It's not just sticks standing out here anymore peach, mulberry absolutely wonderful till next time goodbye